I'm here with my friend Dan from Birchbox. How's it going, guys? And today we'd like to talk to you about the art of shaving, specifically the four elements of the perfect shave. Great, let's do it. So Dan, the first step in the four elements of the perfect shave is to prepare the beard for the perfect shave, and we do that with the pre-shave oil. Pre-shave oil, you're gonna take a little bit of this in the palm of your hand, maybe about a dime size amount. You're gonna massage your hands together, warm that up, and you're going to massage this in upward motions on the bearded area or the area to be shaved. Pre-shave oil is essential because it softens the beard, uh, it, it raises the whiskers, our next step is what we call our lather up step, and this is my favorite step because it's going to incorporate the shaving brush, and we're going to wet the shaving brush, take out the excess water, take your finger and make a little divot, and then take the same finger and take a little bit of shaving cream. That's perfect. Just try to get it all in the brush if you could. And now, right on top of your prepared skin, I want you to start lathering up that shaving cream. And you're gonna have to use a little bit of pressure to get the lather started, but you'll see the lather starts to really expand and grow on the skin. As you're doing this, you're exfoliating the skin. Once you're finished lathering up, you're gonna take your razor, and this is an art of shaving handle that's perfectly weighted so that you don't have to add any additional pressure as you shave down the face. Best way to do it is first, let's go with the grain of the way the hair is growing. Once you've shaved the entire face, you wanna take your shaving brush again, re-lather up the face, and now you can go either across the grain or against the grain to make certain that you are getting the closest possible shave. And because you have the pre-shave oil on the face and that lathered up shaving cream, that blade is hardly making contact with your bare skin, minimizing the risk for any ingrown hairs or razor burn. So Dan, the final step is our moisturized step, the fourth step, and we use our aftershave balm. All you need to do is pump out maybe three to four pumps of the aftershave balm and simply apply it in the area that you shaved. This will help to calm and soothe the skin, also nourish the skin that has just been shaven. There's some really great ingredients in here like grapeseed extract, vitamin C, and shea butter. As a tip, what I like to do is, after I put my aftershave balm in the area that I shaved, whatever I have left, I just cover the rest of my face with, because it just feels so good and it's hydrating to all of your skin. Oh, this feels great, it's very smooth. You look fantastic. Thanks. And thank you. Thank you.